Hello and welcome to Get Creative. I'm Evan Schmidt. Thanks for coming along today. My guest today is Nassar Ahmed. He is the founder and managing editor at CareerMetis.com. Hey, Nassar. Thanks for coming on the show today. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, Evan. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, so my, as you said, my name is Nassar. I am the founder and managing editor of CareerMetis.com. And uh, I, where I wear multiple hats, almost, you can call me the chief bottle washer to the chief everything officer. I do everything from social media, podcast, write, editing content, promoting, etc., and also jumping on shows like this as well. Uh, a very quick, uh, who we are at careermedis.com. It's an online publication dedicated to helping job seekers and freelancers finding their next role, their dream job. And also, once they find that career, how to take it to the next level? How do they grow in their careers? So essentially, that's what uh, we aim to do with our content, whether it's the podcast or also the blog content. Nice. So when, uh, when you pose the question, what's something important that you've learned, what comes to mind? I think one of the uh, key things that I've learned in the last 10 years, and this I learned in 2007 or 2008, I attended a Tony Robbins event. And of course, uh, like any event you go, there's so much information given to you. But one of the things that still stuck with me, and I truly uh, believe that, and he essentially said that you you can only grow to the extent of your peer group, meaning uh, essentially what he's saying is who you have in your circle, the people you associate with, people you share your ideas with, goals with, that group can take you to the level. But uh, you will only, so that's, the very, that's very important. You choose your peer group correctly. Um, and I have, that ties into Napoleon Hill's mastermind concept. And I've been part of a mastermind for a few years. And the reason I bring that up is my, uh, site or company, careermedis.com, started because members of the site, uh, members of the group that I belong to or we, uh, my peer group recommended that I do something like this. Initially, I brushed it off, but after they bringing this up a few times and I started looking into it and I said, I should do it. And, uh, you know, in the last uh, three years since I've been focusing on it, um, I've, the rewards have been amazing. So if I hadn't internalize that philosophy and not done it, uh, I would not be where I am today. So and it's very important for anyone listening to this is choose your peer group properly. And even if they are all, even if your peer group is three steps ahead of you, uh, it's always better because then you will be three steps ahead of where you are in a few years uh, because of your peer group. I love it. That's, I, yeah, I, I don't know what to say to that, but that's, that's so true because it's it's all environmental. A lot of it is so environmental, and you're you're absolutely correct. If you're surrounded by the right people and the right conditions, or not even they don't have to be perfect conditions, but favorable conditions, you can really start to make some change happen. So that's that's great. I love that nugget of advice. So what do you want to pitch right now? What uh, what do you want to promote? Well, I would, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show. Uh, is one of the things we want to do is we dedicate it to helping job seekers. And uh, one of the uh, great things uh, that has happened in the last couple of years is I've had a lot of requests from individuals and other job seekers and, and also people who have been on the other side, hiring managers, they come and share their story in the form of content. Uh, essentially, they are contributors. They come and share advice for job seekers, advice for employers. And it's, it's, an, it's, it's an amazing blessing because now we have been able to grow to over close to 800 contributors who have uh, submitted content and shared their ideas. So some are listening to this. They have their own story. For example, how they were able to uh, create their own careers, uh, hack their own careers, or they want to share some advice they have learned. I would invite them to reach out to me. And if you have a good story, you want to share it, uh, I'd be happy to st- uh, share it. Because I, if you have been successful, um, your story will inspire others to be successful as well. That's great. And where can people find you if they want to reach out? 
Yeah, the best way to reach me is uh, through our website, careermedis.com. Uh, so just uh, Career Medis is spelled as Career, C-A-R-E-E-R-M-E-T-I-S dot com. And the best, I'm always accessible and available by email. It's Nisar, N-I-S-S-A-R at careermedis.com. Um, that's the best way to reach me. And I'm also active on social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, these, these are the two ones I use and check every day. Great. Well, Nassar, thank you for making some time for us today and getting creative with us. Thank you, Evan. It was a pleasure. That's it for another episode of Get Creative. You can find more information about my guests in the show notes. Be sure to subscribe so that you get the next episode in your sleep. And please give the show a review. For more information about me, go to evanschmidt.com. Follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. And check out my blog on YouTube where I share lessons that I've learned. Thank you for listening. Now go get creative.